Prairie Plate Restaurant and Lake House Farm LLC in Waverly, Nebraska. From the farm, through the kitchen, to your table. Hi, are you here for lunch? Isabella, would you tell us why you chose Prairie Plate for your 13th birthday party? Okay, well, um, my family has always really enjoyed cooking, and especially cooking with like fresh and organic foods. We've always enjoyed going to the farmer's market downtown, and um, when we found this place, it was really cool, and I got really interested in the farm-to-table restaurant kind of deal, so I thought it'd be really cool to have my let my friends experience this, this really cool. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Isabella. Prairie Plate Restaurant. From the farm, through our kitchen, to your table. Open on Wednesday through Saturdays, 5 to 9, and Sundays, noon till 5. Need directions to Prairie Plate? Exit I-80, go north on Highway 77 to Waverly Road. Turn right on Waverly Road. At 98th Street and Waverly Road, turn left. Take 98th Street to Branch Oak Road. Prairie Plate Restaurant will be on your right. Bon Appetit! From the farm to your table, find us at prairieplaterestaurant.com. Open Wednesday through Saturday, 5 to 9 p.m. Sunday supper, noon till 5 p.m. Find us at prairieplaterestaurant.com. Available for special events. Call us at 402-786-2239. Prairie Plate Restaurant. We plant the, uh, the red onions in between the yellow storage onions and the Walla Walla sweet onions because the two of them look the same, but when you go to harvest them, you have to know when you switch from one to the other. And so if you have the, the red onion in the middle, you're going to notice. Yeah, we, we grow the three different varieties and they're three distinct different colors, so that way I, I can tell very quickly. Yeah, um, and so, uh, and we try to do that across the farm. If I see two heads of lettuce that are, look very similar, I, I try not to grow them at the same time, because then I, I can't keep trying. So, um, the really localized weather that we get here in Nebraska tends, if we have a crop loss, we lost a lot of our lettuce with that hailstorm or all the rhubarb. There are other growers in the area that we know and we've learned from and have experience with that I know are growing great stuff. So I can get things from other people that are not all that far away, but are still didn't have as much damage as we did, or have a different variety or different crops. So sometimes I just find interesting things they're growing, and sometimes it's a necessity because the hail took out everything we had for this week, and I still need something for the restaurant because we don't want to close down, and there's still plenty of produce in Nebraska. It just may not be right here; it may be right over there. <laughs> well, one of the things we we quickly discovered was that we can we can grow a lot of things even really late into the winter and they taste great and they do well. Uh, the sangre, which is a red potato, works well, ro roasted, and then we do a couple storage potatoes, Yukon Gold and like a German Butter Bowl. And so they'll last a little bit longer into the season. And uh, the whole idea is, you know, different potato for different applications. Lake House Farms grows certified organic produce. This was the first field we grew on back in 2012, and we do a lot of mulching as well with hay. From the farm, through the kitchen, to your table, Prairie Plate Restaurant. Edible America, the voice of the farm to table movement. Chisholm's Farm in Unadilla, Nebraska. All of our products are grass fed. Uh, anything that is pasteurized, we do a lower temp bath pasteurization. Most store bought products are high temp pasteurization, which kills all the nutrition in the milk. Um, they also homogenize most milk. We don't homogenize anything here. We 
Treat our milk really slow and gentle, stir it very gently so as not to disturb the fat molecule, which is where all the vitamins are held from it being grass fed. So we're just super gentle with the milk. Preserve as much nutrition as we can. All of our hard aged cheeses are raw milk cheeses, which preserves all the natural enzymes and probiotics in the cheese. I'm Paul Urban. And I'm Jessica Urban. For us, I believe it started in about 2005, 2006 with building relationships with local farmers such as Dean Dvorak at Plum Creek Farms. And from there, we just expanded and uh, sourced out local farmers and at uh, farmers markets and just by word of mouth. It's gotten a little easier over the past few years. Some co-ops have come around and um, these uh, Lone Tree Foods has been great. They have 20 to 30 farms that they're using at all times, I believe. And online ordering, I mean, you think about 10 years ago, meeting the farmer halfway between Omaha and Burchard, and now it's like it comes right to your door, online ordering, and it's beautiful. They, um, you know, the local farms help to subsidize our garden, which uh, isn't big enough to fully, I don't know, to, yeah, to, to fill our coolers for the for the crazy amount of business that have, has been going on lately. So. so when we need to look somewhere, we can look to these local farmers to make sure we get the best ingredients in. It just makes sense to know where your food comes from. Um, and there's so much, there's so much great produce and... Uh, <clears throat> yeah, those uh, nutrients that you're putting in your body every day, you want to know where they come from and we want our customers to experience that too. So we're just thrilled. Absolutely. For lunch, snacks, and nightly dinners, the kitchen table. A friendly experience with locally sourced foods. Check out the Sunday brunch at the kitchen table. Delicious locally sourced food. Hi, I'm Jessica and welcome to Kitchen Table. Kitchen Table turned two June 4th, so we're happy to say we made that milestone. Uh, what we try to do is use the best local ingredients around and support local farmers to make our ever-changing seasonally focused menu. And this is my husband Colin over here. He's here making the bread that we do in-house each day for our sandwiches. It's a Levain. So it's a natural starter that we use for the bread. It's something we've been growing for just about over three years now. The bread that we make here in-house uh, is a perfect vehicle for the, the bounty of Nebraska. I mean, we, we get all kinds of different vegetables. We can we can change our specials. We can change our menu every single day, and everything goes between two pieces of bread. So it makes it easy and approachable and familiar for anybody that walks in the door. So we are extremely focused on working with local farmers. We uh, peak season in summer. We're probably working with 30 different farmers. It's a really neat way to kind of keep our menu always changing, but yet always keep it local. So the menu specials change often. Uh, it definitely reflects the season. So in October and November, we have a lot of sweet potatoes and squash. We're still able to get locally grown lettuce throughout the whole winter. And many of our farmers are still able to keep doing produce up until late November, December, and then a lot of them also are able to do dry storage for us. So we have apples and onions and everything all year round. So even though it's not tomato season time, we can still keep going with our local focus menu. Edible America, the voice of the farm to table movement in Nebraska.